What's up friends, it's Tana. Welcome to or back to my channel. For today's video, I figured that we would do some Valentine's Day makeup since Valentine's Day is coming up soon. This is what I do on a typical year anyways since I don't actually think I've ever had a boyfriend for Valentine's Day. So I always just take the day to do some fun makeup and eat way too much chocolate. But anyways, I thought that yeah, we could just sit down, do a fun creative little Valentine's Day look. I always love doing holiday makeup. It's one of my favorite parts of actually doing makeup and enjoying doing makeup. So yeah, I figured that for today's look, we would use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible palette. This palette has so many gorgeous pink shades in it, and I think that we could really come up with something creative with this. So let's just get right on into the look. All right, to prime my eyes today, I'm actually going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 16N instead of my Maybelline Fit Me. I figured that we would just switch it up a bit today. So just putting a generous amount of this on my lids and then I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. All right, I think I'm gonna do a cut crease today. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Carly Bible palette with this shade right here, which is called Stev. And then I'm gonna take that shade on this really small little pencil brush and then just tap it onto my lid in the shape that I want the cut crease to be. Okay, I'm gonna start in the center of my lid and just start tapping. I'm gonna be making a winged out shape today. And so I just really wanna concentrate the color first where I want it and then I'll start blending it out after. So I think about like that We'll see, I'll leave it there for now and just build up the color. And it's okay if this gets messy because as I said, we're gonna blend it out anyways and then we're gonna be cutting the crease so it's really not a big deal. I'm gonna take this right into my inner corner and I'm putting this color above my crease so that when I go to cut it I'll actually have enough room to be able to do that. So I have a rough shape like this right now. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more of the color just to really build up the pigmentation and then I'll start blending it out. Okay so I've got the pink I guess it's more red, I don't really know. I'm done on both eyes there now. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Cindy. It's this corally orangey pinky color and I'm gonna take a really small amount of this and start blending right above where we placed that red, pink, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm starting out with the smallest amount and I'm gonna start blending right in the center here and then kind of drag it to the outer and inner corners. I'm using a really, really light hand to do this. And I'm just using a side to side motion to do this. And the aim is to kind of blend this harsh line up at the top and just blend it right into the lighter color. And so now that I've kind of placed the lighter color, I'm going to go around in circular motions with this brush to start blending it out even more. Okay, so now that I've blended that out pretty much as best as I can, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M441 brush with that coral color again really lightly and just blend all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm not really adding much color to this brush, I'm just kind of using it to blend out the edges of the lighter pink shade that we added just so that that doesn't look too harsh. And then because this is such a large brush, it also helps to blend out the cut crease with the red that we did earlier. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer now and I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. And to cut my crease, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 18 and number 20 dual ended brush. And I'm gonna use the number 18 side up at the top here. So when I'm doing a full cut crease and I'm cutting my entire lid, I always start in the inner corner of my eye just so then I can draw a seamless curve all the way where I want it. And so I'm cutting my crease just above where my natural crease is. Okay, so as a baseline, I've got my eye looking like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put concealer on the rest of my lid now. And so because I'm doing such a winged out shape, I'm actually going to go ahead and draw the outer edge line where I want it. So I'm going to start where my lower lash line is and then just draw up to where I made the other concealer line. And now my crease is cut on that eye, so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that on my other eye. Okay, and cut creases are done. I love doing cut creases so much. Honestly, anytime that I'm doing a bit more dramatic makeup, I'll usually do some sort of cut crease. I also find that the shape really suits my eyes, so I just love doing this. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. palette now, and I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here on a Morphe M167 brush, and I'm just gonna pack this right onto my entire lid and everywhere where I just put the concealer. For the price of these, I think these are like $6 there's something here in Canada these are incredible I have a couple of other ones and the pigmentation of these is so good you can definitely see like that's literally I hardly even put any on my eye they're so so good All right, so that nudie pink is now done. I think it works so well with the other colors. I was a little bit unsure about it at first because I did want something lighter, but of course I couldn't find something lighter in my collection because that's how it always works. But to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back in with the Carly Bible palette and take this stunning shimmery pink called Aura, and I'm gonna pack this on to my lid, but I'm gonna try and do like an ombre effect with it. And then I'm just gonna go in with a clean Morphe M167 brush again. So I'm going to start on the center of my lid and just start really lightly packing this color on. So I'm going to concentrate it the most on my lash line and really pack it there. And this color definitely does have some fallout, I will say that. And then once it's packed on to my lash line, I'm going to start diffusing it a little bit and kind of just tapping it all over. But I'm not going to put any on this outer winged area. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleaned up my under eyes because that was so much fallout. That looked insane. But anyways, this is the eyeshadow. I think that I've finished the eyeshadow for the most part now. I'll do my lower lash line and then I might add a bit of whatever highlighter I use to my lid later. But let's go ahead and move on to the face. All right, so for the face, I'm gonna be starting off with my Benefit Professional Primer and I'm gonna be putting this on my nose and the center of my forehead like always honestly i don't know what i would do without this stuff like i always have so many issues with my nose and it just always looks dry even though i have oily skin but my nose for whatever reason is just always so dry and this just helps with it so much and helps with smoothing out my skin so much like i'm sure that there are other primers out there that do the same thing but this one it just works exceptionally for me and i know it doesn't work for everybody but i really don't know what i would do without it 
it. For the rest of my face, I've actually got a little sample of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, so I think I'm gonna give that a go today. I've heard a bunch of really good stuff about this product, so we shall see. I also have no clue how much of this I'm supposed to use. We're just gonna go with it. That's, that's just it. It does feel very sticky, like you can feel how tacky it is. I don't know if I like the smell of it though. It has a it has a little bit of a strange smell, like almost like a dentist's office. It smells like very sterile. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but if it works well, I feel like I could get past the smell. And then like always, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in the shade Light to highlight my face. With the amount of times that I've used this, you would think that I know the name by now and wouldn't have to read it off the packaging. Like this is just getting embarrassing for me at this point, honestly. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm going to be using my Yensa Beauty BC foundation in the shade Light Neutral. My skin has been kind of sucking lately, and this is the only foundation that looks good on my skin, regardless of how dry it is, if I have acne, anything like that. So I'm just going to take about a pump, pump in a smidge on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to dot this around my face. Yeah, this foundation, I don't know what it's made of, but holy man, it looks incredible every time I use it. I've yet to use it and have it look bad. Then make sure to put some down your neck. And then I'm just blending this in with my damp beauty blender. I haven't focused my foundation too much around my eye area here just because I'm gonna go in with a brush and my concealer and just really sharpen it up and all of that. But for concealer today, I'm gonna be using my typical Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 11 Vanilla. And then I think for under eyes, I'll go in with Tarte Shape Tape once again. You guys know the drill at this point where I put all of this on my face. And then I'm gonna put Tarte Shape Tape just in the center of my under eye area. And then on these two blemishes that I still have on my face that still haven't left. They clearly like it there very much. And then I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender again and start blending this in. I literally never wear earrings while filming, but I thought it would be cute today and wear my little hoops with the little hearts on them, but they're just getting so annoying at this point. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. If my little baby hairs could not, that would be really great. Please stay. Okay, and then I'm gonna just lightly tap over my blemishes here. And then I'm gonna grab my concealer brush and I'm gonna use this to spread out the concealer that's in my inner corners as well as my outer corners there just so that it doesn't mess up the eyeshadow. Then I can go in and blend it out better later. Alright, and concealer is done. So you can just see that using the brush really helps to sharpen up the outer edges here. I'm gonna go in with my usual cream contour, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in the shade Fawn. And once again, just using my beauty blender to blend this out. And honestly, so far, I'm really enjoying the primer. It feels really nice on my skin and my foundation and my concealer looks really good on top of it. So far, it's a yes from me and might deserve a purchase of the full size. And I'm just really tapping this into place here. I don't want to move it around too much. And then for my nose contour, I'm going in with my Pure Cosmetics concealer brush to blend it out. I want to know, are you guys doing anything interesting or fun? fun for Valentine's Day? Do you have a tradition that you do either with your family or your boyfriend or girlfriend? Or are you guys still in lockdown where nothing's going to be open anyways? I want to know. I would love to hear what you guys are doing. I think me and a few of my girlfriends are going to get together and do a little gift exchange since as of, I believe, Monday when this video goes up, some restrictions are going to be lifted here and so restaurants are going to be open. But yeah, I want to know what you guys are going to get up to if you're going to get up to anything or if not, what are you going to do at home? Just watch a couple of movies, just chill, or do you just not even celebrate at all? Let me know and comment down below. To set my under eyes, 
guys, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. translucent powder and a dry beauty blender. And I just like to really press this into my skin. For the rest of my face, I'm just gonna be going in with my Too Faced Peach Blur Powder. I'm gonna start by wiping away my under eye powder first though. And then just using a big fluffy powder brush for the rest of my face. For bronzer today, I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. I think the extra added pink in here will just tie in so beautifully with the eyes. I'm going to take this on a big fluffy brush and just tap it into my skin. This ties into the eye look so nicely. For contour today, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here. There is my contour brush. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And then for my nose contour, I'm gonna use that same Pure Cosmetics brush that I used before. Alright, for highlighter today, I'm going to be using this sleek palette. This is the highlighting palette in Solstice. I hate the mirror on this. Like, what is, what is the point of this if it's not even going to open fully? But the colors in here are stunning. So I'm going to go in with this top shade right here. It's this really, really gorgeous... Let me swatch it for you guys. It's this super stunning shimmery pink color. So I'm just gonna take that on my usual highlighting brush. I don't know if you can actually buy this palette in Canada. I bought it the last time that I went to Hungary because I finally saw it for the first time in my life. But I'll try finding it online and linking it for you guys if you're interested because it's so stunning. It's definitely one of my favorite highlighting palettes that I own. What should we do for blush? For blush today, I'm gonna use NARS Orgasm. I haven't used this in a hot minute now. Just tapping this onto my cheeks. This is probably my favorite blush in my collection. It just looks so, so stunning and it's the perfect pink for my skin tone. And I love shimmery blushes. I think they look so stunning on the skin and they kind of put some life back into your skin. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra today because Valentine's Day. We love pink over here. And then some right on the tip of my nose, like always. To finish off with the eyes, I'm going to go back in with the red shade that we used earlier, Stev. I'm going to take this on the same little brush and focus this on my outer corner of my lower lash line. And then to blend it out, I'm going to go back in with Cindy and the same Sigma brush that I used earlier and put that on the rest of the lower lash line. And then for inner corner highlight, I'm just going to use the same highlighter that I used on the rest of my face. And I'm just using that on my Real Techniques Detailer Brush. And I'm going to drag it down onto my lower lash line as well and kind of take it up a little bit. And then I'm highlighting my brow bone with this as well. And then I'm going to tap the smallest amount right onto the center of my lid just to brighten it up a little bit. All right, and eyeshadow is officially done. I think it looks so, so stunning. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm going to line my waterline with my e.l.f. waterproof gel eyeliner just so that my lashes that I'll wear later can blend in with my lash line a little bit better. And then for mascara, I'm using the usuals again. So the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Great Lash for my lower lashes. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows before I do my lashes today just because I wanna wear really big and fluffy lashes, which will make it way harder than necessary to do my brows. So uh, I'm just gonna do my usual brow routine, which is my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5, and then my Benefit Gimme Brow also in the shade 4.5. And then I'm just gonna start by brushing out my eyebrows with a spoolie, and then I'm gonna go in with my brow pencil.
Okay, wow, that is the quickest and the best I've done my brows in a while now. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> I'm gonna brush these out with the spoolie that's on the back of this brow pencil. And then I'm just gonna go over top of them with Gimme Brow. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use this second set that I've got here. I've just got them in this Kiss packaging, but they're not actually Kiss lashes. I believe that they're by Eyler. I don't know what style they are, unfortunately. The packaging for those is just so bulky that I never keep it. But yeah, they're just super, super nice and thick and fluffy and wispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those. So this is the before and this is the after. So as you can see, these are really, really big and dramatic lashes. Not something that I would normally wear, but I really, really like how they look with this eyeshadow, especially with a cut crease. Since it's so dramatic, you can go ahead and do really big dramatic lashes anyways. This one's still drying a little bit, so I'll just let it be. For lips today, I'm gonna be going ahead and using the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Lipstick in the shade Dazzle. This is so so stunning. It is the most gorgeous pink shade ever. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Super Size Me. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with the lipstick. Right, and those are the lips. This is just like the most perfect vibrant pink. It matches so well with like the corally pink eyeshadow mixed with the red. It's just, it's stunning. And this lipstick is so comfortable to wear on the lips. Like I love Kylie's lipsticks. I think they're genius. They're definitely some of my favorite formula, especially the velvet liquid lip. They're just so, so comfortable. And then lastly is setting spray. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray. Ooh. All right, guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I am so, so in love with it. Honestly, I think that this is one of my favorite makeup looks that I've probably ever done. I think it's so stunning. I love using pink and red eyeshadows to begin with, which is why I love doing Valentine's Day makeup so much, but everything just worked out so perfectly. My skin looks incredible, especially that highlight. I mean, like, it's stunning. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so much and I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day and if you're celebrating Valentine's Day, I hope that you have an awesome Valentine's Day and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Love you.